So I'm just going to load the image in. Let's drag this one across. And you can see I've got an images file, so I'm going to open that up. And I'm going to upload the file. I'm going to choose a file from my drive. And you can see the image is now in play here. So we'll save. And there we go. There's the image in. We can look and just check and see if it looks like on the full page. Good. Now I haven't given it a title, so let's go back and edit. And up the top here, we'll call that So that's the most basic way of bringing things in. If I want some more information, a bit of description about my picture, I can grab a text box and just tuck it in underneath there. You can see the yellow highlight where it's going to go. Or if I just said I wanted to put it above, it can go in above it. If I put some more information here, I can. Now, I've looked at the two most basic things, a text box where we can type information or just cut and paste it in, and an image. But there's a whole bunch of other things here, and most of these we're going to talk about in um, other um, videos but I just wanted to show you very quickly that I can put files to download in here so we've got a file to download place it in underneath and I've got a course description so I'll select that there and save it and you can see now if somebody clicks on that they can get the course description down and you can see how it fits into the page there. I could also add information which I want somebody to be able to read on the page. So again, we'll go back to edit. And what I might do now is just add a PDF. So let's grab that same course description. And you can see now that it's trying to show us that whole course description in that little box not reading very well so let's drag it over there we go you can see the yellow highlight now I've got it in there and that seems to sit much better doesn't it but I don't necessarily want it open so that people can see it all the time so what I'd like it to do is to disappear so if we look at it at the moment you can see that it's already going to show itself in that box so we'll edit and we'll say we want it to be retractable and I'd actually like it to start automatically retracted so now when we display it you can see it just tells us there's a PDF here with a little arrow toggle and when we click on that it opens up or it disappears again so that the page can be um, presented in such a way that most of the information is visible straight away and uh, we can open up to get access to more so that's the basics of a new page um, one more thing just to show you that it's possible I can go back to my edit layout here and go you know I'm not happy with that layout I think I'd prefer this layout the information will all still be here it'll just juggle around a bit and you might need to you know decide where you want to put things a bit differently there we go 